Hi guys, this week for our reading classes, we are focusing on what we call story elements. There are many different story elements of fiction. This week we're going to focus on the four really, really big ones that you're going to find in all chapter books and all of the short stories that you will be reading on Raz Kids this week. So the four story elements that we're going to be focusing on is setting, characters, problem, and solution. So let's focus on those one at a time very quickly. So setting is where and when the story takes place. In a short story, you might just have one setting, but in a longer chapter book, that setting is going to change a lot, right? So think about Number of the Stars. The setting was Denmark in World War II, right? But um, our character of Anne Marie, her setting might have changed from chapter to chapter. She might have been at school, on the street, in her house, etc. Um, characters, of course, are one of the most important pieces of a fiction story. Characters are the people in the story. And usually you want to focus on that main character. Characters or characterization we get from um, the thoughts, the words, and the actions, something that we talked about last week. So you learn a lot about those characters by the time a story is over. Problem is also known as conflict. That is a huge story element that makes all fiction stories exciting. Um, it helps build suspense and get us up and around that story mountain. So usually you have one central problem in a fiction story, whether it's a short story or a giant long chapter book, and you might have some little problems along the way to kind of keep things exciting. So problems are those conflicts that get in the way of what a character really, really wants. And those problems can be caused by other characters. They can be caused by nature, like weather and storms, um, and lots of different things. A, a character can even cause their own problem. Think of maybe a lazy character or an old book we read, The Tiger Rising. We had Rob, who was his own biggest problem. Um, he wouldn't speak up. He wouldn't share his feelings. And so he caused his own problem that got in the way for most of the story. And then last but not least, we have a very important story element, Solution, also known as Resolution. And if you look carefully at the word Resolution, you see the word solution hiding in there. So the solution or resolution, um, that is when the problem is solved and a lesson or theme is learned by not only us, the reader, but also the main character by the end of the story. Um, usually a solution or resolution is found at the very end of a short story. So if you're looking at a Raz Kids book, look at the ending. Um, if it's a chapter book, it's also usually um, appears at the ending. At least the solution to the main conflict shows up at the end of the book. However, sometimes you have um, chapters in between where maybe there's a very small problem and you have a solution by the end of the chapter. So in order to practice this, let's take a look at a chapter book that we're all familiar with. Um, regardless of whose class you've been in this year, either mine or Miss Blanco's. And so we're going to look back at The Tiger Rising really quickly. And I have some examples from just the first chapter of that book. And these are sentences taken directly from the text. So here's one. It says, Rob went and stood under the Kentucky Star Motel sign and waited for the school bus just like it was any other day. Hmm, which story element is this really showing? Is it showing setting, characters, a problem or conflict, or the solution, also known as the resolution? So you have a kid standing under a motel sign waiting outside for the school bus. So you're finding out it's a school day, it's probably morning because that's when kids go to school and he's standing outside. If you're thinking setting, you're exactly right. This sentence from the text is all about the setting element of this story. So I'm just going to put it over here. There we go. 
All right, let's look at another example from chapter one of Tiger Rising. Hmm. Here we have something. Billy shoved him hard. And him in this case, we're talking about Rob, our main character. Do you remember those kids, Billy and Norton Treemonger? They would bully Rob on the bus and in the classroom. In the first chapter, one of them shoved Rob super, super hard. Which story element is that sentence really showing? Setting, characters, problem, or solution? Billy shoved him hard. It's a problem. It's definitely a problem or conflict in this story. I remember way back at the beginning of the school year when we read that, a lot of you were wondering, oh, how's Rob going to react? And you were kind of feeling that suspense and you were eager to read more because it was a conflict or problem. And that's what makes books exciting. Here, oh, how about this sentence from chapter one? He, Rob, did not think about the rash on his legs, the itchy red blisters that snaked their way into his shoes. This one's kind of hard. So it's describing what Rob looks like and a little bit about what he feels like. He's got these itchy red blisters going up and down his legs into his shoes. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're like, ooh, I'm not sure. Is that character or is that problem? And here's my little piece of advice. If it's giving you a good picture of what that character looks like as a person or what type of person they are, then it's definitely showing characterization or the character story element. So because it's teaching me more about what Rob looks like, um, and a little bit more about him as a character, I'm gonna put that under characters. Also, if you're getting things like what a character says or does or thinks, and it gives you more of a complete picture of who they are as a person, are they a shy person? Are they intelligent? Are they creative? Are they funny? That's really giving you more of that character story element. And then last but not least, I'm pretty sure you can already guess what this one's going to be. But in that first chapter of Tiger Rising, at the very end of the chapter, um, we have this sentence. It hurt, but Rob didn't cry. It drove Norton and Billy Threemonger wild. So thinking way back at the beginning of school year when we read Tiger Rising, he was bullied on the bus. He was shoved. They were grinding their knuckles into his head, if you remember. And the way that Rob kind of got around this and got the boys to leave him alone was not crying. He knew that it would drive those boys nuts and they would leave him alone if he did not react. So in this case, even though it's a small solution to a smaller problem within that longer book, Tiger Rising, that we read this year, it's still a solution or the resolution at least to the end of that chapter. Now, were there other huge conflicts that Rob dealt with in Tiger Rising? And did he learn some much bigger lessons by the end of the book? Sure. But most of the work you'll be doing this week is with very small stories and Raz kids where you are going to get a solution at the end of that story. So look to see what did the character do to solve their problem? And did they learn anything? That's going to be the solution or resolution story element. Thank you so much, and make sure you're paying attention to story elements as you listen to Miss Blanco and I read aloud Harry Potter and Loser to you this week, and as you're reading Raz Kids books on your own. Have a great day.